Aloha YouTube, this is Clueless and I'm demonstrating Module 1 Practical Exercise Activities for the Penn Foster Electronics Technician Program. For Activity 1, we must negatively charge the plastic straw through friction. This is done by rubbing the plastic straw against your wool or cotton cloth. Your plastic item is now negatively charged and has extra electrons. Place it above the paper and observe what happens. Hovering the plastic rod above the pieces of paper is inducing static electricity. Grounding your plastic piece like so causes it to lose its negative charge. The more positively charged paper is no longer attracted to the plastic rod. And that concludes Activity 1. Activity 2 through 4 won't be demonstrated in this YouTube video. In Activity 5, I'm going to identify the resistance and tolerance for the 100k ohm resistor that was included in the Practice Kit 1. To do this, I'm going to use the Resistor Color Band Guide to interpret the color bands on this resistor. Resistors are read from left to right. The fourth band is usually offset, so you can determine which is the first band and read it from left to right. This resistor's band colors are brown, black, yellow, and gold. Brown is equal to 1, black is 0, yellow is 4, and gold is plus or minus 5%. The meaning behind these numbers is that the first band color is the first significant digit. The second band color is the second significant digit. The third band color is the number of zeros. And the fourth band color is the tolerance. The first and second significant digits are 1 and 0. There are four zeros, and the tolerance is 5%. The minimum and maximum tolerance for this resistor is calculated by multiplying its resistance value of 100,000 ohms by 5%, which equals 5,000. The 5,000 ohm tolerance value is subtracted from the 100,000 ohm resistance value and added to the 100,000 ohm resistance value. These values should look like this in engineering notation. 95k ohms to a max 105k ohms resistance. Here are the resistance values of resistor 2 and resistor 3. For activity 8, I have 16 gauge insulated copper wire and a wire stripper. I'm using the wire stripper to strip the insulation from the 16 gauge copper wire. For the next part of this activity, we're going to install a wire nut. It's a connector for two wires. I've stripped 3 fourths an inch to an inch off of both of these wires. You assemble them together like so. Take the wire nut make sure they're tightly in there and turn. You continue to turn until you see the wire twists two times. Here I have two disconnect pairs. A male and a female disconnect pair. To install this, insert your wire your second wire. If you want you can solder this in but you can also crimp it. Using the correct crimping, take your male and female connecting pairs. Insert them like so.
Activity 9 requires you to create a working circuit consisting of a test light bulb and four 1.5 volt batteries. If you do not have the items to make a working circuit yourself, this circuit can also be created virtually using NI Multisim. Here are my iPad screenshots of this circuit created using their tablet app. The next part of this activity introduces an STSP single throw single pole switch into the circuit and observe. To avoid short circuiting the test light, I inserted its cathode terminal lead into a disconnect pair. The anode lead was connected to a STSP switch lead. The other switch lead was connected to a wire by a wire nut or wire connector. I put male disconnect ends on each connecting wire to the 6 volt battery pack of 4 1.5 volt cells in series. Thank you for viewing my activity demonstrations. Check out my electronics technician playlist for more activity demonstrations for each module and unpacking clips for each practice kit. Cheers!